Okay. Your child's first dungeon crawler experience awaits. Pretty much, this is a five-year-old plus two to four, 30 minute seal of ex excellence, Treasure Falls games. This is hands down one of the funnest games I've played with family and kids. This was just phenomenal. Like this game was so fun to play. We had so much fun playing this game. Everything about this game was just fun as can be. Um, the little people in this game was awesome. Everything I'll show you in a little bit, but everything about this game was fun. Um, Quest Quiz is like a new fantasy themed board game adventure. Uh, and the game players control up to like four kids, a brave team of young heroes, explore magical Tolk's Cave, uh, scare away monsters with complete quests, discover magical items, helping their fellow quest kids along the way. Um, most stars at the end of the game, you win. Featuring uh, kid-friendly art, oversized play mat, chunky components of gigantic, of gi gigantic articulating miniatures of little people you can walk around with or you can do the little flat piece cutouts you can walk around with um quest quiz is a perfect you know introduction to fantasy gaming for little kids get them into board games is this perfect introduction to board games for kids basically it's great like i would love love to try the expansion and play as the new person that they got out, like the little dragon. Like I would love to try the, the expansions. Speaking of the expansion, there it is. I would love to get my hands on the expansion and try it and do reviews on it, play it and all this kind of stuff. I mean, this is like hands down one of the funnest games we've played in a while. This game is just so much fun to play. It was just so awesome. I would love to play this. We're going to definitely be playing this again. We would love to play the other expansions. We would love to play the Tolk of the Wise, the Big Bads. I definitely want to play with him. I mean, as you can tell, see, like I said, we already played this. As you can tell, I was the winner. Sorry, had to brag about it. But other than that, I mean, this board is massive. I'm, I'll take a picture by itself, take a picture of it. But this board is massive. Uh, you have people like Skylar, Ivy, Noah, and then my favorite, which is Crash. Then you get the bag. Then you get the cards, which are pretty much they're just like your gym cards and power cards like these is what they are. That's all they really are, basically. These you get in the center of your board, but you get these when you land on certain things and all that kind of stuff. These are cool. Um, these are your quest cards, like your boss cards, people you got to fight. You need like these to fight it. You need like two yellows to beat it. You need a yellow, two red to beat it and stuff like that. These, you need this and this to get to gym. This, you need all that kind of stuff. Uh, this, you get these when you land on it and all that. And then you get like a, all this kind of stuff. But these are like the pieces that you get when you land on the certain board because these you lay on the board. But yeah, this is the stuff. This is how you get everything in the game as you go around. As you can tell, we already played because everything's all turned around backwards and everything. Um, here's the stands. Here's all your little hearts so you can tell how much you have health-wise if you don't get the help or if you can't defeat the monster and... You know, you pretty much die. 
here's some more of the cards, some more of the little people that are in the game, stuff like that. They get harder, they get easier, and stuff like that. But that's pretty much it. And then you got the standees, like I was talking about, that you can use, or the people, like I'll show you in a minute. Then you have the quest kind cards and extra turns, like extra turn. Look at any unexplored dungeon tile. You get any of these extra. You can play these at any time of the game. Two treasures. You get one health. Um, you get two extra stars for toward the end of the game. Get these in hand. Get two extra kind cards. Gain one token gem. You get these toward the start and during the game and stuff like that. Here's your token gems that you get when you play the game, when you land on them. They're like oversized little gems. There's different colors. These are your things you pull out of the bag for treasures. There's some negative ones. There's some plus ones. See, like, here's a negative one. It's like negative two stars when you toward the end of the game. And then here's the one that's two stars. So, like, there's all these different, like, little treasure coins that you can go for. And then here's the cool part, which are the people. But yeah, this is definitely a very, very fun game to play. Definitely recommend it. Definitely, definitely try it. Uh, we will have, next time we play, we will definitely do some gameplays and definitely record some stuff and little clips and stuff like that for everybody to see. Um, but yeah, like I said, we definitely played. Um, it's definitely a really fun game. I definitely want to try the expansions and try the new character. But other than that, it's definitely a very fun, interesting game. I definitely thank uh, the Quest Kids and the people over at Treasure Fall Games for letting me try this game out. Um, I definitely thank y'all a lot. My kids absolutely loved this game like I said they would. We actually ended up liking it a lot too. It's time to find out. But yeah, this is a very, very fun game. So definitely check them out over at Treasure Fall Games time I sent you and hopefully I'll be doing more with them in the future.